Alright, oh, it's here. Just when I reach my hand towards the door. Oh, wait, I'm pretty sure that door's locked. Locked? Oh, that's right, Angie did say that she'd stop locks the room when she's working. I'll grab the doorknob anyway just to test it. I knew it. It's locked. Got a minute? Move. Monkey pushed me aside and began pounding on the door. Hey. Angie, open this door now. Hey. Wait, Monkey, you can't do that. Stop being little all and misimpatient. Then... How should I do it? Um... Angie will only open the door when a student council member calls for her. Tenko turned back to the door and gave it a few, few nervous knocks. Please. Angie, it's Tenko. Can I open... I talk to you about something? Can you open the door? Oh, Tenko! Yes! Yes, it's me! After Tenko answered, the door flew open. Yaha! I can help, can I help you? Huh? huh? Why is Shuichi and Maki here? Uh... Oh. Um... I get it. you both want to join the student council, huh? Then we'll need to get acquainted with the two her. I will introduce you to him. So divine! Please come in. No. No, it's not that. Well... Let's go in for now, we can talk inside. Well... well I suppose. I, invited by Angie, we stepped into a lab. But, we weren't prepared for what we were about to see. Ha! Wax dolls! Huh? Kaida and Rintara, Grumi and Roma? I made them. Don't they look lifelike? Aren't they just divine? Huh? You made them? Uh, yep. Yep, they're my very own handcrafted wax effigies. Huh? Wax effigies? Why? Of course, of course. Why for the resurrection ritual, of course? Uh... Uh, according to the Necromonicon, we need an effigy of the deceased to perform the ritual. Come on, come on. So I went ahead and made these. Uh... Simple dolls probably would have been better, but once I got to work, a tour took possession of me. <laughs> and before I knew it, I had made these. What do you think? Aren't they amazing? You do such cruel things so innocently. Huh? What? But it's incredible. For a second, I thought they were real. Yeah, it's just like the real thing, but. The more I look at it, the more it looks like Rentaro. But actually. Whoops. It looks like Ryoma, but actually. Who's exactly like Kurumi, but actually. Who's exactly like Kaede, the face and body, it looks like the real thing. But actually. The, fa the fact that Angie can do things like this without a carry is what makes her so dangerous. Please, you have to stop, yes, Angie. That's it. You try persuading her first. Detectives are good at talking, right? I feel like she she might have seen misconceptions about detectives. But I know Marky isn't very good at persuading people, so it's up to me. Hey, Angie, can you please reconsider? Mm -hmm. I see, I can see. Reconsider what, ex what exactly? Remember. The ritual that you're trying to do. Uh, I don't um... think you understand how bad that might be. Remember that this was a Monokuma's motive. If he wants us to do it, it can't be good. Uh... But the dead can't really come back to life, so the people who died must still be alive. No. No, Angie, that's not possible. The bodies were not fakes, I'm positive. Especially after seeing the wax effigies. The effigies were not nearly perfect, but the real bodies still had traces of soul. A soul desperate to live, struggling, fighting for life. That's something that can never be replicated. No matter what technology you have, you cannot fake a soul. That's true. Remember Kurumi, Rentara, and Kaeda are dead. Okay. I agree, I have no doubt that their deaths were real. Trust me, I've I've seen my fair share of dead bodies. Mm-hmm. I see, I see. If that's what Maki says, then maybe they really are dead. Woohoo! Then if we do the ritual, will will we actually resurrect the dead? I doubt that. What a miraculous mystery. Huh? Huh? This is stupid. What are you saying? Someone who has died cannot be resurrected. But, but... But that's not what Atua says. He says that if we do the ritual, everyone who has died up till now will come back. So if those four really are dead, then the resurrection ritual will surely work. 
That must be right, because the tour is never wrong. Um, You're not going to stop this, are you? Of course, of, of course. course not. This is the tour's will. Hey. This is your will, not a tour's. No. Nope. nope, it's a tour's. A tour told me that our friends will never will come back to life if we do this ritual. So if we do it, we cannot defy a direct command from a tour. We'll get punished. Or else we'll get punished, you know. You're probably still worried about the motive, Shuichi, but it's okay. Atua has spoken. Nothing bad will happen as long as you put it aside, all thoughts of escape. Is that so? Then there's no point talking anymore. Uh... Um, are we talking? Are we talking? Done talking now? Because I'm still busy preparing for the ritual. <laughs> if we're going to slow down, me down, I'll turn you into a wax effigy. Hey! Tenko, let's go back for now. I think we may need another plan. Uh, yes. After failing a little bit to spite Angie, you reluctantly left the lab. Yahoo! It's already night time, so please be careful as you head back to your rooms. Right, right. Oh, and... Uh -oh. It's safe to say that Tenko's betrayed the student council, right? Huh? huh? But, but... It's okay, it's okay. I forgive you, because Atua forgives you. He's such a softy, you know. Atua! I hope you will recommit yourself to the student council and help us make this place a paradise. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's going on? Why? Why are you? Why is Shuichi and Maki here? They're on the student council, and it's nighttime. Mimiko, it'll be okay. Oh, it's nothing. Tenko simply betrayed the student council and brought these two to change my mind. Yeah. She betrayed us? Mm. That sounds like a big problem. But if you're saying it's nothing, then yeah. Angie, you really are loved by Atua. Jeez. And you are loved by Atua in return, Himiko. <laughs> Stop it! You're making me blush. Cut it out Enough already! Tenko walked towards Himiko and gripped her firmly by the shoulders. Himiko! Yeah? Please step out of it. Aren't you a mage? That hurts. Let me go. Himiko, why can't you say that you've been brainwashed? If you can't see that, then you're not a real mage at all. What was that? What? What's wrong? Feeling angry? If you are, then show it. Himiko! Get mad, get upset, yell at me. Just fight back already. Do something. Uh, um... Tenko, let's just leave a beef for now. Huh? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I can't believe it. It's yelled at you. Uh... You must be tired, Tenko. I think it would be best if you got some rest. Bye, Yonara. Sounds good. Until then, I'll continue my preparations to welcome back our friends. Emiko didn't look Tenko in the eyes. After leaving Angie's lab, the three of us returned to the dorms. Um, Tenko, are you okay? <laughs> said all those horrible things to Himiko, and now I don't know what to do. Uh, I know she ne my, she'd never hate me, but she would demote me from best friend to just friend. Huh? You guys are best friends? Uh, no. Well, if you round up to the nearest whole number, we're basically best friends. I feel like you're rounding up a little too much, but I'm the... Well, well if you apologize, I'm sure she'll understand. Right. That's right. We'll be like an old married couple once we overcome this rough patch. Oh, that was a quick turnabout. Turn around. Mm. You should have let Chuichi teach you how to apologize. He's really good at it. No. Really? That's the first time I've heard that. Piece of cake. Don't worry. I'll use my own words to apologize to Himiko. Well then, see you tonight. Good night. Waving happily, Tenko returned to our room. <sighs> she bounced back rather fast. I guess I didn't need to worry. Ah. Are you worried? What? Uh, is it weird for me to worry? Do you want to die? Huh? There's the habit again. Well, I suppose on the positive side, she's able to act more like my, herself around me. Well, what about the ritual? Have, we, have you given up persuading Angie? No. I don't want to give up, but changing her mind might require less orthodox methods. I need to think of another way. Mm. Less orthodox methods? Got it, I'll think about it. Max, Maki, mm. hurry back to our room. So Maki's going to think about it too. I didn't expect that. But I'm glad. Especially now that I'm able to talk about things more with Marky. I don't know a lot about this place, but I don't know a lot about anyone else either. That could be a good thing, or it could be a bad thing. Huh. In a past life, I was a fish. I grew up in a pond in a rural town, but I will always dream of the city. One day, while my parents were feeding, I ran off to the city. Luckily, I was called by a rich person who let me attend human school. But the other kids bullied me. They bullied me for silly reasons. Because of my odor, and because of how I would flap around on my desk. And because of the way my mouth opened and closed as if I was dying. 
The trauma of my past life haunts me to this day. That's why I can never forgive Billy bullying. I swear in my past life that I will get along with everyone. Huh. The intercom this early in the morning? I wonder who it could be. Well, What's with her face? You look like you just woke up. Huh? I did just wake up. The announcement was just a minute ago. You, you wake up to that? If you rely on that announcement as your alarm clock, you're stuck getting used to this place. Uh, okay. well, I suppose that's true. Hey. It's fine. Let's just go stop the ritual. Huh? Later? Uh, okay. Heard from Marky Roll. It seems like Angie, Angie's gonna do the uh, the ritual. What? Marky Roll? Don't give me such a weird nickname. Oh. You brought Kaito here, Marky? Why? Is that weird? We need a backup plan in case the straightforward approach fails. Who better than Kaito for a less than straightforward approach? But... But Kaito, are you feeling okay? <laughs> oh, we don't have time to worry about... Um, we don't have time to be worrying about me. We gotta put a stop to this ridiculous resurrecting and the dead crap. Okay. And then we can finally drop that topic or else I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna last. Not gonna last? Um. Kaito, are you okay? Scared? Uh, oh, are you scared? Huh? No. And it's just that I remember you don't like talking about ghosts and stuff. Because... Now that I think about it, you've been acting strange ever since. We started talking about resurrecting the dead. Shut up! Don't be stupid, there's no way! Uh, um, uh so I was right. Got a minute? Wait, do you mean the reason you didn't come to training is because you were scared? So... So that I'm scared, that's just how my body is. I'm fine when it comes to cramped areas, space, and zero gravity, but ghost stories? Uh, Still, as a kid, whenever I hear them, I start to feel sick. Kaido was looking more and more pale as he spoke. Because of that, I haven't been able to eat or sleep since all this crap started. Hmm. So that's what happened. Okay. So let's hurry and stop Angie, so we can put an end to all this spooky stuff. If things get any scary, I'll seriously die from a heart attack. Why are you looking at me like that? <sighs> Unbelievable. You always act like you're not afraid of anything. Shut up! Shut up! Let's just go stop Angie already. Come on, bro. Come on, Mackie Roll. Hurry up. I told you. Seriously, don't call me Mackie Roll. Um... Anyway, let's go to Angie's lab. What's Macky Roll? Uh, I can't go to the fourth floor right away. Can't even do anything like that. I guess this something's gonna happen when I leave. Nope, nothing happened. Do 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 do. Boo boo boo. Boo 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 boo. Oh hey, Mika. Yeah, you guys again? Why? Hey, Mika, why are you here? Were you keeping watch the whole time? What a pain. I want to do something about that. It sounds like a pain. I just came to check on Angie. You. So what do you guys want? Don't tell me you came to stop Angie again. Okay. Uh yeah. Because the ritual is Monokuma's motive, we shouldn't just let it happen. Okay. That's exactly right, it's not because I'm scared or anything, okay? Sure, but it's good that you're here. She won't open the store for anyone but members of the student council, right? Then... So tell Angie to open it for us. Mm. It's impossible. Huh? What? Mm. I wanted to ask her how the ritual went, so I've been calling for her. But she must really be into our work, she won't come out. Huh? Won't come out? Are you sure she's in there? Mm. She should be inside, both this door and the back one are locked. Huh? Both doors are locked? I grabbed the knob and tied, tried to turn it. it. Really is locked. From these doors, only locked from the inside. Monodam has the key, so we need it from him. Which means there's definitely mm -hmm. someone inside. Any response? No. Actually, no. Much. Maybe she's sleeping. No answer. Himiko. Himiko, we need to get inside right now. Mm -hmm. Why? Nah. You know, even if we wanted to check, it's locked, so we can't do. I see. I had everything, and I'm just as shocked as you by what the tabloids are reporting. What? You obviously didn't hear anything at all. Ew. Where did you come from? Um, a little birdie told me that now would be a good time to bust out my trick. Kichi's trick? <gasps> lockpicking. Huh? Lockpicking? Hey. During the insect meeting, Greek, Kichi was about to able to get into our rooms by lockpicking. Can you use the lockpick skills to get this door open? Mm -hmm. You want me to pickpock this door, huh? Let me see. Kichi bent over and peeked into the keyhole of the doorknob. 
Ah, oh, it's a cylindrical lock. Now this type of lock is perfect for lock picking. Um. Yes, please, Kikichi, open the lock. You. It's rude to pick lock, pick a lock without permission. Himiko. Now's not the time for that. Something might have happened to Eiji. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Kikichi, hurry up and open the door. My bad. Sorry, Himiko. I'm only doing this because the three are threatening me. Kikichi pulled out some thin needles and stuck them into the keyhole of the lock. See. There, open saves huh? me. <laughs> That's simple. And not to brag, but I am the ultimate supreme leader, you know. Well. Lock picking seems more suited to petty thieves. Well, I mean, is there really a difference between petty thieves and him? You got me. Ah, that cuts real deep, monkey. All right. Let's get inside and worry about Angie. It. Yeah, you're right. When I touched the doorknob, I realized that my palms were sweating from fear. Fear? Why am I nervous? I turned the door and I pushed open the door and saw. Oh. Oh boy. Um. Yeah, I expected that, but... What? They're all hanging upside down? A guy that was stabbed in the heart? With the sword from Kier's place? A body has been discovered. Everyone, please assemble to the ultimate art lab. Ah, she puked again. It's green this time. Not even his green puke is said to be an omen of bad luck and disaster. One knows it's about to happen. Shit. Transfer a student from beyond the grave. Deadly life. Well then. Let's pray for Angie. <laughs> God damn it, Kira. <sighs> wow, he's really sad. So the two may guide her soul to the gates of heaven. <sighs> Atua, please take good care of Angie. <laughs> hey, why did it end up like this? Didn't Angie have a, um, have a tour with her? You don't know? Clearly she didn't. Weird! No, not true. Angie says a tour will always by her side. Damn it. We don't have time to be talking about this instead of talking about a tour. Right? Yeah, we gotta talk about which one of us is the culprit to win this killing game. Really? Wait, this is part of the killing game? That's right. What else could it be? The fact that Angie's dead can only mean one thing. One of us killed her. No way! But, but why would someone do such an awful thing? What? Is that really what happened? Huh? Huh? Could it be? It's possible the culprit who killed Angie wasn't one of us, but... Oh, a vomit-soaked entrance! How novel and the puke is green again, too! That's pretty ominous sign! Why did another murder happen? What's the deal, Monazam? I thought you were gonna make everyone get along! Okay. Don't worry, overcoming this will bring everyone closer together. This has been the case so far, yes. That bond goes stronger with each class trial, does it not? Murders are necessary to bring everyone closer together. Oh, but how? So, then, so let's get started. We are all Conduct friends. a friendly investigation that we will have a friendly class trial. We must distribute these first. Oh, look, the Monokuma file. I wanted to be the one to pass it out. Didn't you want to do it too, Monofani? By the way, I've been thinking you guys should knock off the, all this killing and dying. Dying is like so lame. Living is all the rage these days. <laughs> ah, more green puke. This is really unlucky. So long. Farewell. So then, as you, as there is no use complaining, we are better off beginning our investigation. So everyone, we all know what to do. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, by the third murder, we should all, all be pretty used to dead bodies. Wait! No, Gontar! No way Gontar ever get used to this. Nope. Trust me. You don't want to be used to this. No one should get used to this. Hee hee hee! That's nice, no? But it seems pretty insecure to be coming from the assassin. Unfortunately... Let's not investigating. It's not like we have any other choice. You're right. That's true. But still, it's strange. This is a bizarre setup. Four wax figures, effigies of the dead, hanging upside down in the room. And in the middle of Angie's body is a pool of blood? Certainly appears to have been some kind of ritual. 
Shuichi. All right, bro. I'm counting on you as my sidekick. Let's end this night match together. Uh, okay. Yes, but are you feeling okay, Kaido? Okay. We seriously have no time to be talking about this. No way we're going to die here. I'm definitely going to find the culprit. Seems like... The culprit is really someone among us that killed Angie? Hmm. I get how you feel, Samigi, but do you have to repeat that title line every time? Um... Oh, no, that's not it. I mean, could this have been the work of a tra transfer student? Huh? huh? Uh... Angie prepared the ritual in this room to resurrect the dead, right? And she made those whack dolls hanging upside down as part of the ritual. Could it be? Maybe the ritual succeeded and the resurrected person killed her. <laughs> huh? Hey! What? Shut up already. What? So far, telling scary stories out of nowhere like that. Uh, Seeing stuff like that. Uh, um, Kaito, are you alright? Uh, sure, sorry, Sarichi. I need to get some fresh air. I'll leave this to you and Marky. Do a good job, you guys. Kaito left, still a bit wobbly. Do a good job. That coward has a lot of nerve bossing us around. <laughs> and maybe that wasn't the best way to phrase it, but... He just wants to encourage. He clearly settled right into your psychic role. <laughs> it's okay. I don't need him to give me orders. There's so few people left, I can't afford to sit out anymore. Well... So where should we start? We should check the Monokuma file, right. right? Yeah, let's take a look. The victim is Angie Yonika, the ultimate artist. The body was found in the ultimate artist lab. Um, the victim's death was discovered. The victim's body was discovered in the ultimate artist lab. The time of death is approximately 2 a.m. Oh, wow. Uh, the victim was killed by a fatal stab wound at the back of the neck. Additionally, she has something on her forehead. Laceration. What's a laceration? Uh, the cause of death is stab. The forehead is a laceration. Want to come file number three? Hmm. When it came to file include the time of death this time. Hmm. 2 a.m. Everyone must have been asleep. We probably can't rely on witness testimonies. What? So the murder happened at night time after all. If everyone had followed the student council's rules like Angie and Atua said. <laughs> you what good was saying, saying that do? The culprit may be one of the student council, yes. Why? Member of the student council, that's... All right. We should go and figure that out. Let's start investigating and solve the mystery together. It's impossible. I can't. Himiko? Himiko? Uh. I can't do it. I can't investigate Angie's body. But... But if we can't, don't make it through the class trial, then everyone will die. Yes, that's it. Whatever. I don't care anymore. Huh? What a Surviving pain. and everything else is too much of a pain. What was that? Then why don't we just use our magic to revive Angie? Please stop! There's no time for your mean-spirited thoughts. Reviving her is clearly impossible. Is that so? We cannot say that with certainty, no. Huh? Excuse me? No. Well, of course, resurrecting her is impossible. But I know a way we can speak with Angie. You see. We can summon her with a seance. Seance? What are you trying to pull? Seance, what are you talking about? Cut it out already. You gotta be kidding me! Yeah, there's no time for jokes. I am serious. Oh no, I'm serious. This is for our investigation. Huh? For our investigation? Yes. If we speak with Angie, we can ask her who the culprit is and bring this case to a swift close. Well, you know. First a resurrection ritual and now a seance. Are you messing with us? Do you understand? I would appreciate it if you didn't compare it to Monokuma's foolishness. Seances are genuine occurrences. They are written in the literature the world over. In fact, I myself have participated in seance more great many times. Huh? Many times? <laughs> On top of that, we have a rare chance to perform the legendary seance, the caged child. It would be foolish to not take advantage of this, yes? No. No matter how you put it, this now's not the time for something. However... Oh, I suspect the only way to confirm your earlier theory is by forming the seance, yes? What? My earlier theory? Therefore. The possibility of the culprit being the resurrected transfer student. It is not wise to go into the class trial with such outlandish theories in one's head. Well. Yeah. So to prove such a thing impossible, I think it best we consult Angie herself. Incomprehensible. That logic is peculiar to say the least. Um... Wanting a seance to find out about the ritual, so we're gonna fight the occult with the occult? Okay. Well, we can't worry about this forever, so we might as well go with the easiest solution. How exciting! Okay, I'll help out. I was getting bored of investigating anyway. Huh? Huh? Hmm. I'll help too. Huh? You too, Himiko? Bye. If I can talk to Angie one more time, I'll do anything. Seance or whatever I'll do it takes, I'll do it. Well... I'll help out as well. I can't leave Himiko alone. Do whatever you want. Yes! Okay, I will. So then... So now, we have four participants. Kokichi, Himiko, Tenko, and myself. However, the cage child requires five people. 
We're still one short. Hmm. Fine, then Key Boy can come too. You're right. I guess we can't be picky. Why? Why am I being forced to participate and being treated like a burden? Well then. So then we need a place to perform the seance. Where should we do it? Mm -hmm. How about your lab? No. No, in order for the caged child to succeed, the room must be as dark as possible. The lab has windows, so turning the lights off will make it quite dark enough. Then... Then how about the empty rooms? That's... Empty rooms? The ones on the fourth floor? Hmm. There aren't any windows there, so if we blow out the candles, it should be pitch dark. Yeah. Sure, I'm fine with that. Listen up! I agree with Himiko. Tell me your thoughts. However, there are three empty rooms. Which one shall we use? Then... The middle one. The middle room's always best for stuff like this. I see, yes. Very well, I should begin the preparations at once. I shall have you for help as well. Let us carry all the necessary equipment for my lab. Uh, um, Are you really going to use do this? Do you understand? This is for our investigation. I said as much, did I not? <laughs> we need to use all our effort to discover the culprit, lest our lives be lost. Kiyori, Kokichi, Kiba, and Tenka, and Himiko all left the scene. This is stupid. Are they serious about the stupid seance? But... I was just about the part of the investigation. In their eyes, we should go with it. In any case, should focus on what I can do. What the ultimate detective can do.